Ladies and gentlemen, it has finally, finally, after many millennia sitting there waiting to be verified, waiting to be sent to me, we have finally acquired the Vivid Voltage Booster Box, and we're going to be opening up the entire thing today going for our master set. This is one of my favorite sets of all time, and it is such a beautiful one to behold and we're actually getting kind of close on the master set for this uh set so before we do that as per the usual you already know what time it is it is time for the po box opening we've got a little bit of an interesting one here all small packages now again mixed in with all this stuff is some stuff i've been ordering so we might get some of that stuff here today usually when i see something that's just like uh kind of like this like just sealed up like this it's more than likely something i bought and are receiving and it looks like someone sent us a resealed <laughs> a resealed mini tin from shining fate so that's kind of interesting so i guess first of all let's oh i don't know what to do first this wait is that a psa card did i buy a p wait did i buy a p i can't actually remember if i bought a psa let's start with this here We'll start simple. We'll go to the PSA card lot. I do not remember buying a PSA card, but I guess we'll I guess we'll have to wait and see. Here we go. First things first. Ooh, little Japanese card. Uh, actually looks like to be very, very, very good condition on the back. And on the front, we have one of the Japanese Mewtwo's that I ordered. This actually might get a really, really good PSA rating, which I am surprised because usually when I buy things from Ebay's that are like ungraded. They're usually worse than they look in the pictures. This one actually looks better than it looked in the pictures. This is a beautiful, beautiful Mewtwo. It's one of the exclusive arts that only is available in the Japanese sets of the cards. So this is, I mean, this is a pinnacle card. This is one of the cards that I'm going for in Japanese because it's only available there. And the art is absolutely stellar for this one. And I, I can't wait to get this one PSA graded because it actually looks way better than I thought it was going to look. So there we go. Pog, pog, pog for that. That is the first thing that I like how I just, instead of opening up the rubber band like a normal person, just snapped it off with my with my oversized knife. Speaking of that, we're going to need it back here for this here. Eh. Eh. Beautiful, man. I, 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 we are getting very, very close on the Mewtwo collection. And uh, I know we, I know there's like something new every day. Okay, this is very much not, okay, water energy. This is very much not a resealed, well, it is a resealed. Uh, but it's a little bit different. Dear Noah, my name is Eli. I'm 24. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Uh, I'm a long-time viewer since you started your meme streams. I hope you enjoy some of my weird and wacky and random Pokemon cards. No trumpets, unfortunately, as I sent them to the Shadow Realm already. Good. Good. That's how it's supposed to be. If you can sub to my gaming channel, I upload, also upload TCG openings. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks, Eli. Uh, YouTube, that tall, that tall guy, Eli Gaming. Yo, Eli, thank you so much, man. I'll, uh, I'll, have, to, I'll have to check that out. And we got the Mewtwo coin in there, of course, the one that comes with it. And let's see what kind of wacky and weird he said <laughs> card openings we have today. We have Magical Hats Trap Card. Bro, I actually don't recognize this one from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't, I don't think I ever had this one back in the day when I collected. Recently, we got a huge, huge Rocket Warrior. Bro, these are... these are. Is this all going to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I'm confused. Oh, okay. It's also a Rillaboom promo card. I actually don't remember either of those Yu-Gi-Oh cards from back in the day when I did collect Yu-Gi-Oh. Cinderace V... We have the Umbreon GX, beautiful, beautiful stuff. That's a, that, that's a really, really nice one, man. Little, little, little torn up, but that's okay. We've got a Drampa GX. Again, not the greatest condition on that, but still such a cool, I mean, I always love seeing these because these are sets that I don't really open ever. We've got a Ninetales EX, definitely a, uh, a whole entire, is this one, wait, is this fake? Oh, this one's fake. <laughs> A lot of the time that hey that happens a lot with Pokemon cards. People just don't realize that they're that they're fake. Okay, we've got a double. Oh my god. He he literally just spammed me with some L wolves. Oh my god. Hey! Oh okay, this is at wait, please don't be fake. Okay, this one's actually real. Bro, Tyranitar Hollow. And I don't oh, what's what set is that from? That, that that's like shoot, I'm gonna have to look it up. Alright, let's see here. What set is this actually? This is actually a really, really sick Tyranitar. I love Tyranitar. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, and it looks like... Is that from... Shoot, where? what is that from? 
2016. It's pretty, yeah, it's it's pretty recent. I I can't I can't match it up. That little symbol, I literally uh, oh fates collide. I'm dumb. All right, 56. Let's see. Tyranitar Hollow and a PSA 10. It goes for $120. So a pretty darn good Tyranitar. I didn't even notice this Gengar was so focused on the Tyranitar. A Gengar Hollow. Beautiful card. I mean, that is kind of creepy, but I, I love Gengar as a Pokemon as well. Giratina? Bro, these are some beautiful cards. Dragonite E or I, I was about to say EX for some reason. This is uh this is a much, much older, uh, older set than uh than current day. Oh, it says right there, 2015. So it's not extremely old, but it's still really cool. A uh, Japanese Doduo there. We've got a, uh, oh, what's it called? Camera, not camera upped. Oh my God. A Slugma Mag, I, 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 Magmar. I, oh my gosh. No, it's like Mac Cargo. Is that it? I think that's it. something like that. Agron. We got a Gyarados. That is a beautiful Gyarados from one of the recent sets. A Bunnelby promo card. Lickitung. Wait, is this one of the ones? <gasps> Dude, so I've been trying to complete my Detective Pikachu. Um, Where is it? Detective Pikachu promo cards. So is this one of the ones I needed? Uh, I did not need the Lickitung. Dang it, man. I, I'm really trying to get all of the uh, Detective Pikachu. The Tepig Single Strike Hollow. Shinx Rapid Strike Hollow. And Ashes Pikachu promo Pokemon choosy uh, po the Pokemon the movie I choose you. This is a really really cute Pikachu. Holy crap! I really like this Pikachu a lot. 2017. That actually looks kind of rare. I that, I think that's my favorite one out of all the wacky and weird ones. Thank you. These are really really cool cards. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the note and uh, thanks for thanks for sending through some really cool cards. Definitely some very unique ones in there. Love it a lot. Okay. Um. So last but not least, I guess let's open this up. I, I was for some reason I thought that was gonna help tell me what this was. Oh, <gasps> it is a PSA. It is a PSA card. In a oh, okay, that's kind of a scuffed case for it, but okay. Let's take it out of the baggie. It's a Japanese one. What what Japanese card did I buy in PSA? I can't remember. It looks good. Did I? Well, how long ago did I buy this? We have. Oh, it's this one, dude. Oh my God, this is the Great Rockets Mewtwo. For the promo for the Game Boy. Bro, it is an extreme... Oh my gosh, I've never seen a PSA card kind of like be off-center like that. You see that? I mean, this was this was pretty darn expensive as well. It was a couple hundred bucks. Um, and it's one of the... Like, do you see how it's like shoved down in that corner? It does, it's not like centered in the, in the case very well. PSA, what's going on with this, man? What's going on? I mean, either way, it is a beautiful, beautiful card. PSA 10, uh, number 150. It is it is such a cool card. It's kind of like a shadow type Mewtwo. It's called Great Rockets Mewtwo. And it was a Game Boy kind of promo card. So I, of course, will be sleeving that PSA case and adding that to the good old uh, Mewtwo collection as well. So pretty cool PO box opening today. We got a couple Mewtwo's, a couple Mewtwo's, couple, um, couple cool unique cards. And uh, now it is time to see... I, I, I really was considering like splitting this up into two videos, but, and like doing something extra, maybe something along with it, but I really cannot wait to, to dive into this vivid voltage. I need the rainbow Chonkachu, man. I need the rainbow Chonkachu more than life itself right now. It is, it is imperative that we do this. Uh, so real quick, let's go ahead and show what this is. Vivid voltage. I need 13 more cards. We're getting extremely close on Vivid Voltage to having a master set, and these are the ones we need. Very, very few left. I mean, mostly rainbows, mostly full art trainers, and then one golden card with the Galarian Obstagoon. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get to ripping. I think I th I think Code Boys, Code Boys are going to be happy because I don't think Vivid Voltage actually spoils with the code cards. So, I think we're good to go ahead and show every single code card here. I don't think it spoils. Let's see here. Hit my top. Croc rock. If, if there's a non hollow at the end of this. Oh, it was a hollow. <laughs> okay. Still remains to be seen. Still, still remains to be seen right now. We're, we're still not sure if it, if it spoils or not. Okay. Round two. Round two. Let's see what we got going on here. 
I mean, it'd be, it'd be great if it doesn't spoil because it means the code cards are happy and then I don't have to worry about leaking whether or not I have something good. So it was another, this was a white card, right? Uh, the white code card. Dusclops, okay, good, good. Vivid Voltage does not leak, which means we can show every single code cards. Code, co code boys are happy and I don't have to like do, oh my God, okay. Well, never mind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a never mind for me. Okay. Turns out Vivid Voltage does indeed leak. <laughs> uh, that's pain right there. Oh, wait, on a green code card, we get the amazing rare Jirachi. Bro, this card is such a good one, man. Oh my God, it's one of the best amazing rare. This is the second best amazing rare, in my opinion, right behind uh, the Rayquaza. Oh my God, I can't believe we pulled that so soon into the box and so like, I, I literally thought there was going to be nothing. I almost... Imagine I just ripped that entire pack in half or something. Okay. So, do we keep showing code cards or do we not? The code, boy, the code boys are fuming right now. So, that's another redeem. So, we'll see. Which means it was a green code card. Which means... Let's see. So, so can amazing rares come out of green code cards? Is it just talking about the last slot? Okay, that's a non-hollow. We'll show, we'll, hey, we'll show one more. If, and if it, if it turns out it does in fact leak, but then again, it didn't leak for that. So TC, this is a TC go. So this should be a hollow or better. This should be good luck in this, in this uh, pack right here. Exadrill, Nuzleaf, Opal, Shuppet, Choodle, Riolu, Eevee, C dot Delmise, and Galarian, Darmanitan, V Max. Unfortunately, I have like three of these at this point, but it's still a really, really cool card. I am a I am a fan of the Galarian Darmanitans. And they're really, really rare and very good attackers in Pokemon Go for raids. Fun fact. If you don't play Pokemon Go, definitely get you some of those. Somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> they're really hard to get, but they're sick. Loudred. Um Skiddo, Eevee, Tr I forgot. Um, um, um. <gasps> oh! <laughs> well, that settles it. Every single time I get a Trubbish, I got to give it an extra munch or two. Because holy crap, the Cape of Toughness gold card hiding right behind that Trubbish, dude. It was it was just waiting. It was going to transform into literally a non-hollow crap card if I didn't bite off that Trubbish, man. It was going to just transform if I if I didn't do that. But it, it was waiting. It saw I did it. It was like, all right, time to bless him. And it did. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love that. Joltik, Sandile, Electric, and a Jolteon. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a Pog champion right there. Not going to lie, that's kind of a Pog champion. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's my last code card I'm going to show because I'm pretty sure it does, in fact, leak. And we are just super, super lucky that we got the amazing rare. It was just a, it was an error. Cottony and a Shedinja. All right. No more, no more code cards. Code boys, sorry. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I, uh, I apologize, but <clears throat> it's for the integrity of the video. We can't have people, we can't have people knowing. I don't, I don't want to know before I open a pack whether it's going to be something good or not. So it's better to keep it just completely... Okay, well, if I was going to get a Drapion, I could have just, you know, thrown the pack away. <laughs> I hate Drapion. I don't know why. I truly do not like that Pokemon. I am not a fan of Drapions. They just, they're just so boring. Like, it's just a little purple, little purple, like, scorpion looking guy. Like, cool. <laughs> Can't even tell what's going on with him because he's so, he, he just does, none of the cards are good. That's what I'll say. None of the cards are good. Unless there is a uh, rainbow Drapion, in which case I love Drapion. Okay, no, there's not. I was about to say, just in case there was a uh, rainbow Drapion, I love Drapion. It's my favorite card. I can't wait till I pull the golden one, but no. Not a single golden or uh, rainbow version of it in the entire set. What do we still need? We need Pikachu, Aegislash, Togekiss, Leon, Nessa, Opal, uh, all in rainbow. So we have a couple more rainbows that we're still hunting in this set for sure. For sure. Tynamo. I mean, it, it's a booster box. We're 100% pulling some rainbows out of this. It's a lot of packs. It is a lot of packs. Shuckle, Tynamo, Milseri, 
Learn Meowth. Okay, launching cards, Electrike, and a Grab Locked. And I wonder, whoa, maybe while I'm doing this next pack, we can kind of scroll down and see. What is the going price on, uh, what is the going price on the Rainbow Pikachu right now? Um, for PSA 10, okay, so it's down a little bit. $790 for a PSA 10. There's 941 of them that exist in the world, which is kind of insane if you think about it. Only 941 actually exist. How did somebody manage to get a PSA 3 Pikachu VMAX? That, that, that's, that's just what I'm looking at right there. There's one PSA 3 that exists in the world. Like, how did you manage to get a PS... Like, did you just rip it up and then send it? Like, how did that... Ha how did that... How did that go down? Also, I think I'm going to save this Regirock because I think the one that I have in there uh, is, a non is a reverse holo. And I hate reverse holos, so I'm going to replace it with that holo. Pog, pog, pog. Dude, how... Like, it's brand new. Like, people nowadays take way better good care of their cards because they know how much value some of these... Some of these guys can have. Yeah, there's 941 PSA 10s, 525 PSA 9s. So, it's actually it's actually somehow easier to get a PSA 10 than a PSA 9. Or people who are smart don't waste the money sending it in when they know it's just going to be a PSA 9. I just leaked that we have a redeem. So, we'll use this as a test. Do we get the amazing rare? Do we get amazing rares on green code cards? No, Siri, Wooper, Nkeda, Winden Stadium, and a Vaporeon. I, I hope that I, I mean I hope that would be the case, but we will have to see. Dude, I'm I'm just like like literally it's just on my screen staring at me. It's just, it's just sitting there waiting. Hey, <laughs> hey hey, when are you gonna pull me, man? I'm just a giant Pikachu. Oh my god! And then we get the Pikachu V. <laughs> ah, I, you know what is very sick though is the Pikachu V full art. The Pikachu just the normal Pikachu V full art. I think is my second favorite Pikachu, right behind the Rainbow Pikachu, in this set. I think Rainbow Pikachu definitely on top, but um, I think I like the full art more than the just normal V Max because we pulled a bunch of the V Max Pikachu's, but we have not pulled very many of the Rainbow Pikachu's with a for a grand total. We've pulled like five or six. Finally, bro, let's go. Our first card of the day that is going to be able to be checked off from our master list. The Aegis slash V. That is a really cool looking full art too. Hey, there we go. We're making it. We're making dents, boys. We're making dents. Not much longer. Not much longer. We need uh, the Steelix and the Ampharos. And then we're down to just full art trainers, gold cards, and rainbows. And that's, I mean, that's where it's really going to come into play. Where we, we're really going to need that luck to pull those. Or nice people who send them to my P.O. Box. Because <laughs> people actually helped me out a whole lot, dude, with Vivid Voltage. Because I was struggling getting some pulls. People sent some really, really nice stuff uh, through to my P.O. Box for Vivid Voltage. Um, that allowed me to basically complete the set. Like, like, get closer to completing the set. Which I really, really appreciated. And it also helps that Vivid Voltage is a pretty good pull rate. So people tend to, tend to pull extra cards and stuff like that from this set. Dude, what is up with me and... Lately, I have been just absolutely launching cards, and I don't even understand how I do it. The Celebi Amazing Rare, bro. Oh, my God. Our Amazing Rare luck is incredible right now. If we pull the Rayquaza, I'm losing it. I'm losing it because the Rayquaza is my favorite one by far. It's, like, not even close. Listen, I love you, Celebi and Jirachi, but if I pull the Amazing Rare Rayquaza... Oh my goodness, it's over. <laughs> it's over for y'all. I do love Celebi though. I kind of forgot Celebi was in here because Celebi is probably my second favorite Amazing Rare. If we're being completely honest, Celebi is probably... Hey! Reverse Holo Charizard, boys. Let's go. That is a big boy card right there. Terrible centering, but hey, you know. <laughs> Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool to pull it. I do love that Charizard card. With the boy in the background, Leon. A little Charmander. That's a, that's a little bit of extra luck here. I'm not going to lie. Charmander Charmander in a pack means that you're pull... Dude, how? I, never mind. I just launched him. This pack is going to suck. Here we go. Ready? This pack is going to absolutely suck. See? I told you. Crocodile. <laughs> Pain. Pain. 
I curse my luck. I think as I as I open up more packs too, my like my niceness that I open up the packs gets worse and worse. I know some people like like preserving the pack arts to save them and stuff. I literally just demolished. That's a cool Genesect, by the way. I wish it was a shiny one, man. I really do. Uh, but I just literally run through and demolish the pack. Like whatever gets the card out the cards out the fastest, that's the method I'm going for. I'm trying to get my uh my PPM up, my my pulls per minute. Oh, imagine. Imagine. That's a really cool that's that's probably the coolest uh zero zero aura. Zero aura. You kinda have to roll the roll the, the tongue off those letters right there. Zero aura. Probably not even correct. <laughs> some of these Pokemon have some strange pronunciations, I gotta say, man. Some of them do not translate from Japanese very well. <laughs> All right. This. <sighs> okay. Based off previous packs, this should be a good one now. is pretty good i'm also going to save this uh xerneas i am going to save it um because it's a pretty cool reverse hollow all right i got a sand aisle off the top here i can't believe i i can't believe i ingested a trubbish for no reason there i really i really thought it was going to help me again galventula swellow sand isle whalmer weedle beldum fanfy and a Togekiss V. I'm actually surprised this is only... This is what? The third V card we've gotten? I, I feel like our pull rates on everything else... Our amazing rare pull rates are is amazing. <laughs> no pun intended. But our amazing rare pull rates are actually incredible right now. Because usually you don't... You do not get two per box. That is no no shot on that. But um, as far as just normal V cards... Which I'm not complaining. But, but the normal V cards haven't been... I haven't been pulling them very much. We got a hollow Leonhart. Hey, sh shout out to Leonhart, man. Part of the reason I got back into Pokemon for sure. Absolute all around great guy. Speaking of, fire. No, imagine. I was going to do a good old guess that energy for Leonhart right there. I've kind of fallen out of doing it a little bit, but oh my God, we're kind of, we're kind of winding down to the end here on these packs. I'm hoping that we can pull at least one rainbow, right, guys? <laughs> right, guys? Like, surely, surely at least one rainbow this opening. I mean, right, guys? Oh, God. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I need to start pulling from the back? I, maybe, maybe I'm just, like, I'm too uniform, you know? The, the game is dodging me. Again... Contrary to popular belief, the Pokemon cards that you get in your packs are solely determined by your attitude and your guess the energies and your just general demeanor when opening them. They're actually not, you know, the the, the cards aren't locked down. This this last card, it could be a non-hollow, you know, swoop out again. It could be a duot non-hollow, or it could be a rainbow. But see, since I had bad attitude right there, it was a non-hollow Alcremie. You know, that's because I had a bad attitude. But this pack. If I have a good attitude from start to finish, you know, we can, we can pull something pretty good. Here we go. Check this out. Hey, I love Pokemon. Pokemon's, Pokemon's a great a great pastime. It's a very good use of money. It's not gambling at all. We definitely love spending thousands of dollars on Pokemon and buying really expensive old boxes to pull non-hollow Clefables. See? See, that's the kind of positive energy that I'm putting out in this world. I just have to amplify that a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> This is Pokemon Overlord Noah J speaking. We must invest all money into Pokemon. If we do not own every Pokemon card, we will die. Everybody buy Pokemon. Trubbish. Destroyed. Card pulled. Oh, okay, that's a Dialga Hollow. That's pretty cool. I'll take a Dial I'll take a Dialga Hollow. That's that's a good pull. That's a good pull. Is it the best pull? No. Is it a good pull? Yeah. You know, we still have, we still got what four more packs left. Now that now that you've all been brainwashed into buying Pokemon cards, Pokemon should be changing my uh, my luck for the last few packs here. 
We should be getting a uh, rainbow pretty much any time, any second now, any second now. Kind of sad that I can open up 36 packs in a booster box and not get a single rainbow. What? What do, do all? Is all we got toward our vivid voltage Asia slash V? Is that all we got toward our vivid voltage today? So far, anyway. I think it is. <laughs> No, don't do this. Don't do this to me, Pokemon. I tried, man. I tried to brainwash everybody. You're supposed to help me with the polls now. Come on. Where's my YouTuber luck? All the other YouTubers have YouTuber luck. Unless, of course, they do fake pack openings and they stack the packs for them. <gasps> oh, okay. That's not... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you see that? That's not... Mm. Mm hmm that's you see that's not that's not what we were exactly going for there i know it's i know it's like a flashy card you know like woo you know steelix v woo but it's not exactly what we were going for there in terms of like you know full arts or you know full art trainers or you know golden cards or you know perhaps <clears throat> rainbow <laughs> i'm not finishing this up there's literally no shot that I don't finish this set without the help the help of subscribers, man. No shot I finish this set. After this kind of luck. Hey, look, I'll leak the last one. TC go. All right, we have at least a hollow in here. Please, I have opened up an entire booster box without a single rainbow. Let's get it. Excadrill. Nuzleaf. Shuppet. Toodle. Riolu. Eevee. C dot. Flare Meowth. I'll effing take that. Let's go. A Pikachu V full art. Okay. So it's not a rainbow, but it's pretty darn good. This is definitely one of the better cards in this set. So overall, you know, I mean, amazing Rosalbi. We got the Asia Slash we needed. We got a new Regirock. We got the Cape of Toughness, which I didn't need. It's not the gold card I needed, but it is a gold card. Jirachi, amazing rare. And then obviously the, uh, the PO box opening. So... I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy. I mean, this card is absolutely stellar. I freaking love this art. And it's exclusive to J uh, Japanese as well. So, like, you know, reason I bought it right here is this art it doesn't appear in English at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. I hope you guys enjoy this booster box opening. Let me know in the comments down below what I should open up next um, that will make me happy. <laughs> Goodbye.